Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this future video tutorial we will see that how we can transfer the data from child to parent component. And you know that when we are just sharing the data in the Vue.js, we will share it with the props. So basically you can say that we will share the props from child to parent component. So these are the points of the video. These are the basically five points. First of all, we have to make the child component. Then we will make a button and on this button click, we will uh, emit an event. And this event will be fired in the parent component and we will see the output. So basically we are just going to change the title of the parent component from the child component. So this is my, here you can see that uh, basically parent component. So I am just going to define a title property for that. Let's define a data here. So just use your data and uh, basically data is a function as you know. And just return here. Title. And in the title we can just put here. Uh, child to parent data that's perfect and I am just going to change it title in the h1 tag so just simply write here title and here you can see that the output is displayed here so now I am just going to make a component with the name of child dot view right so just define a template here in the template we are uh, always use a div tag so that we can just make a wrapper h1 tag if you just want to show something here otherwise you can directly make a button here so I am just going to make a button and just write here update title update all right now let's define a script here and uh, in the script we will basically use a name property so just put here name and name can be child of my this component all right so now let's come to the app.view and import this function so for the import we basically use the import child from path so path will be the component and child let's register this component inside the component array and simply we can use here like this that's great and uh, 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 okay so i think we did not close this button tag that's perfect but there is a no event for a moment so let's make an event so define an event like v on what on that means we can just use a click or any event and here I can just uh, make any function like update title or something and uh, for calling this function we have to define a method function and as you know method is basically an array and here we can just make this function like this and just simply make a console for a moment uh, my bad, like this and let's try to click on it now you can see that this is working fine so now I am just going to uh, remove it and let's fire a make a custom event here all right so for that I am just going to use here this dot emit and emit have actually two parameters one is the event name so I can just make here change title and second any data that we want to transfer so uh, props has been passed or something whatever you just want to send here all right after that let's come back to the app or your parent component and just write here v on and here we will use this event actually change title all right because this we've just made a custom event so we can just use it simply so just 
right here just like this and on that click I would just want to call a function so I can just right here update uh, title text or whatever you just want to put the name of this function all right and in this uh, function I can use a event dollar event as in parameter that's great now let's define this function and for define this function I have to make simply a method mm -hmm. what's the wrong with it methods and you know that methods have uh, any name like uh, this one okay and here I am just going to getting this event as in title and here you can just write here this dot uh, title equal to title and let me check what's the error is that this is not defined he is just telling to me yep the reason is because uh, fair is the method function so okay that's my bad I can just simply use it like this just remove it now everything is perfect so I hope this event should be called let's click on it and you, you can see that data is coming from the child component all right so if you just want to change it then you can also change like uh, like this video or something and now let's make it refresh and let's see that now the text is changed here so this is the way that how we can just get that data from child component or you can say that pass the group from child to parent component so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment don't forget to subscribe my channel and please like this video